We will bring you four situations recorded by police cameras. Situations one. It's the police department. Do you have clothes on? On January 19th, 2024, police officers were dispatched to address a complaint involving a male and female who were refusing to leave. The male complied and left, but the female, identified as Gwendolyn, locked herself in a public bathroom and refused to come out despite repeated requests from the officers. She's taking a shower and she won't get out. Hey Gwendolyn, it's Officer McCall. Hey, I spoke with you the other day. Yes, you know what? I, I paid $20 for the spa, the spa here. Okay. But and she's been bothering out there, and it's not my fault. I, I'm not going to get banned because he does. No, no, hey, Quinlan, they don't even want anybody banned. It's nothing like that. But Were you, I paid $20. Were you here with Devante? No. Okay, well, Devante already left, and they're just wanting you to leave, too. You can come back at a later date, but for today, no, you got to go. No, not because he's causing, he left me out there on the bus stop. I have to get my shower. That's what I plan on doing. I paid the money. He did. Okay. Well, how much longer is your shower going to be? Oh, probably less than an hour. Okay. Well, you don't get that long, all right? Yes, you I do because I paid $20. I understand that you pay $20, but I they have a right to ask us to I remove people from their any, business. I have not caused them any problem. I don't know what he said. All right. They have a right to ask us to remove people from their business, and they're telling us that you need to leave, okay? Well, you know, I can take as long as I want to. Well, they've changed their minds, and now they're saying that you need to go. Gwendolyn was taking a shower and insisted she had the right to stay because she paid $20. Despite the officers explaining that the property owners had the right to ask her to leave, she continued to argue and refused to exit the shower. She claimed that she needed more time to finish her shower, brush her hair, and get dressed, and insisted the property owners had initially told her she could take as long as she wanted. Hey, Gwendolyn, did you hear my partner? No. Nope. You, you can leave me. right now. No, and the, okay, we're going to write you a ticket okay. for trespassing. Write me a ticket. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to give you a suggestion, Gwendolyn, because they're writing your ticket. Once they issue that you that ticket, you're going to have maybe two minutes to get your stuff and get off this no, property I or you're going to be not. arrested. No, do you, Gwendolyn, do you want to go to jail? They will, you're giving me a ticket. Yeah, and then you have to leave, and if no, you don't leave... I came here to take a shower, not to play with him. All right, Gwendolyn, I'm shutting that water off, okay? No, you're not. I sure am, Gwendolyn. No, you are not. I you sure am. Gwendolyn, no, you are not. I need $20, and that's what I'm I haven't washed my hair yet. I don't care. I don't care either. You're I'm not, not getting out now. Well, the water's off, so this is what it is. I'm sorry, but you haven't even talked to me. I stood there talking to you. I came in here and paid, and he followed me in here and kept going back and forth, and that's what He has me. nothing to do with why yes. we're here right now. Why did they call you? They said I could take a shower. And they changed their mind I want to talk to him. Okay. Please go down and ask him. I want this. her to come in and talk to me. You get dressed, and we'll go outside, and we'll see about talking no. to him. No, she's going to no. talk to me right now. That's the best I can offer, okay? She can come in and talk to me. That's the best I can do for you. No, I'm sorry. I'm taking my shower. I paid for the shower. And I'm not gonna do it. I don't go to Salvation Army. I don't care. Right now. I, I know it. Care. That's why I come here. I'm not going to do it like that that uh, way. No, fine. I will not. This you give me at 5 o'clock. Tell them at 5 o'clock I'll be out. Would you Three please? towels for you. Okay. Well, no, I'm not using a towel. No. You're going to have to have her come in and talk to me. She's not going to come in and talk will, to you. I, the, yes, she will. Gwendolyn? Because she's not. me different. Take the towel and dry off. the front desk like this. No, we're getting you. We're gonna let no. you get dressed as long as you cooperate no. with us. No. I, I will need to talk to her. That's not the way this is gonna the work. The police might be prejudicing for some right. other reason. They're writing your citation right now. Once okay, they're done writing it, my shower. Then. No. Yes, I'm not having okay. you turn. I'm not gonna on. debate this with you. I'm not either. That's fine. The officers repeatedly told her that the property owners had changed their minds and wanted her to leave. They warned her that if she did not comply, she would be issued a trespassing ticket and subsequently arrested if she still refused to leave. Gwendolyn continued to resist, arguing that she had a right to finish her shower and demanded to speak with the property owners directly. What, you want a refund? Is that what you're after? No. Or you want your shower? Because you're not getting your shower. Why not? Because the business wants you to leave. 
they have requested that you leave the business right now. Is it right because now. of him, though? No. Nope. I need to know what I'm the reason I'm going to be really is. honest with you, Gwendolyn. They said that you were acting odd, that you seemed like maybe you were on something, and they just want you to go for the night. I'm not. I'm not acting odd. That's what they told us. I'm and sorry, but I will that take my shot. They didn't tell me that. They need to tell me that. Please go down and ask them. Nope, Gwendolyn. Okay, that's why I can't you. agree either. I well, paid $20. I'm going to be honest. You don't have to agree. You can no, dry off no. and go to my squad car you nicely illegal. at this point. You are illegal. How am I? You are illegal. All right, Gwendolyn. We're not. Do you want to so dry they, off so I that you're warmer when we get outside? No. I want them to tell me what the problem is. Have I'm not taking that in the shower. You're going to have to take it. I will not take that citation uh, in well, the shower. I have a citation here. This is going to be for trespassing. Once this is issued to you, if you stay here and do not leave, and I cite you again, you're gonna be taken to jail for trespassing. So I'd rather cite you here. You can put your clothes on, and then you can leave. You cannot cite me in the shower. That's yes. the law. No. Okay. We're giving this to you right now. Police officers here you cannot go. take people out of the shower. I'm not taking it. Okay, you've I'm been cited. Are you Are you willing to leave now? Otherwise, you're going to jail. I need to talk to someone. Are you willing to leave, or you're going to jail? Someone to talk to me. No, you are going to talk to us. Talk That's to simple. No. All right, hey Gwendolyn, they're gonna go. They're gonna fill out another ticket. So now you're going to compromise with five minutes, huh? Yeah. Because earlier you weren't willing to give us less than an hour. That's what Here's I the wanted. Deal. That's what I wanted, but you're not gonna allow it. So I'd like five minutes to get done. Deal. Okay. You would have. I'd like five right. minutes, okay? Gwendolyn, you are under arrest for trespassing. No, I am not under arrest. You are under arrest. I am not going like this. You are. No, I am not. I am not going like this. No, I am not going out like this. I'm going to No, I am not going out like this. Please stop. My cousin had an abortion. My cousin had an abortion. My cousin had an abortion. I am not under arrest. I am not under arrest. This is ridiculous. No, I am not under arrest. No. I am. I have the right to take a shower here. Stop. I'm sorry. Stop. Stop, Stop hurting Stop. my arms. Stop. I will get dressed. Okay, I'll make an agreement with you. I'll Somebody get dressed. Gone. Okay, I'll get dressed. Can I get dressed? Well, Can I get see. dressed? I have a right to get dressed. I'm not going out here nude. After being issued a ticket, Gwendolyn still refused to leave, prompting the officers to forcibly remove her from the bathroom. She resisted arrest, complained about her treatment, and requested her money back. She was concerned about being exposed in her towel and demanded to be allowed to dress properly before being taken out. Eventually, she was dressed and escorted out, where she continued to argue and make various complaints, including that her cousin had an abortion and her personal rights were being violated. Stand oh, up. I'm gonna put my shoes. Gwendolyn, stand up. You're not getting oh, your shoes right now. Yes, I am. We will do the shoes We're in a minute. Here. We might as well get my shoes on. Well, that's not what we told you to do. Okay, so stand up. I know it, but I don't need to do it. No! What are you You're hurting me! You're not cooperating. I don't have to. I've got stuff in that locker that I need. Because in the locker room, you were telling me I was the only one to talk to. That's because it was in the shower. I'm not in yet. I would like to get in by myself. Please leave me your hands off of me. Get in the car, we'll put you in the car. Would you please Wendell, would you help me instead of her? Step up in the car. Get in the car. Okay, I want her, you to help me. She's put hurting. your legs in the car. Gwendolyn was ultimately arrested and taken to the county jail. Throughout the interaction, she maintained that she had done nothing wrong and that her rights were being infringed upon by both the property owners and the police officers. Why? Any medical conditions because the jail needs to know about? You're under arrest. Well, as I said, you can talk to a sergeant when we leave. Right now, we have to get through this step, one step at a time. It's like walking. Situations 2. Officers responded to a dispute at a hotel involving a woman, Hannah, who was having difficulty accessing her room due to a malfunctioning key card. Police could hear Hannah yelling at hotel staff, making it hard to understand the situation. Upon arrival, the officers encountered a highly aggressive and uncooperative Hannah. You can simply go up and open the door for me. It's right up the stairs. It's right up the stairs. Right okay, okay, hold on one second. We're gonna, I'm gonna oh, wait. I'm doing everything I can to do everything. Are you crying? You look like you were crying. What? Are you crying? You look like you were crying. Me? No, I'm just tired. I cannot hear what he's saying if you keep on yelling. Yeah. Let him talk. Right. I'm sorry. You guys want to talk real quick? Just so no. Let's go right here. Okay. No, I want to deal with Sanders. Uh, Officer Suchecki is yeah. probably a little more level-headed than I am right now because, again, I just raised my voice and I normally don't do that. 
The way you were talking to him and demanding and making all these demands, shit doesn't work that way. So right now, do me a favor, talk with her. I'm gonna see you by the card, I'm gonna see what happened. Because he has no reason why not to let me in the okay, But there's something, there's some miscommunication or something, no, and that's what Sanders is trying to do. Over and over and over right, and he's ready. trying to Initially, the officers tried to de-escalate the situation by calmly addressing Hannah's concerns about her key card. Despite their efforts, Hannah continued to demand immediate assistance, yell at the officers, and exhibit erratic behavior. She refused to wait for the officers to investigate the key card issue and insisted on going to her room immediately. Hannah, can you please just Don't. stay here? I'm fine. No, Hannah. Okay, I'll stand right here. Sanders is still with that. Sanders from 303. She's gonna try. Oh no, here she goes. She's this and this, she's that. I'm just letting him know where you're going so that he doesn't know. Right. No, Sanders knows. He's freaking right, but we're right, trying right. to right. figure out what's going on here. Sanders, excuse me, stay in the hallway. Okay, I will. Just I, I'm trying. That's what I was trying to do. That's what I. Talk to this guy's. I, okay, I understand, but there's steps and I gotta talk to him and get that key card, so please do me a favor. Don't breathe. You need to breathe because she says you're moving. I come out freaking out, so you need to do what she says. As the officers attempted to manage the situation, Hannah's behavior became increasingly hostile. She verbally abused the officers and hotel staff, resisted instructions, and demanded preferential treatment. The officers remained patient, repeatedly asking Hannah to calm down and cooperate, but she refused to comply. Well, you guys have a history together? Yeah. Hannah, I asked please, I said please. Open my room, Sandra. Open my room. No. I, Let's see if it works. You can do it. Let's see if it works. I said please. Then don't leave. I said please, and he gave it to me. Okay, then stand right here. I'll go up there with you. I'll go up there and make sure it works. But I, I was calm, I was polite, I and he gave it to me without even without any issue. You're in here demanding, ordering, yelling, cursing, screaming. When Hannah eventually went upstairs to her room, the officers followed to ensure she could access it. However, her aggression escalated further and she began hitting herself and screaming. The officers called for medics, but Hannah also refused to cooperate with them. Okay, okay well, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 the card was backwards. You're getting frustrated. You can't treat people like I shit. I can't expect... not treating anybody like shit. The guy shit. downstairs, you're just screaming at him. Because I, I, I hate them. I hate everybody. Okay, can we go inside the hallway so it's more private for you? Can we go, I'm sorry, inside your room so it's more private for you, please? Inside my room? Inside your room, right here. I don't want that. Oh, I'll, listen, I'll stand at the I door. Don't want, I don't want you here either. Just... Oh, you can't do that, unfortunately. That's not your choice. Your, your card? He's going to tell me what to do. Yes, Hannah. he yeah. tells me what to do. I know. I don't want the f***ing card. No, well, we're now the card is tainted. I know. Yeah. The card was backwards. You were just slapping yourself in the face crazy no, freaking hard. I know, I know. And all that's recorded. So we have to make sure you're okay. Where's the light? Where's the f***ing light? I'm going to lose it again. It's like they're standalones. You got to... Uh... Oh. Here you go. Uh, easy with the hate talk. All right, I can't. Sanders, because I we're writing a report on this. Sanders, I just want you. I really just, I can't handle this. So, so can you, can you yeah, relay to her that we can't leave unless she answers our questions, but she needs to be able to talk to us. <laughs> or sorry, talk to us for you. Okay, so Hannah, I don't need to repeat all that. You want me here. Okay, I want the best for you. We all do. So please just answer their questions. And if you answer their questions, they'll leave. They'll leave if you answer their questions. Okay, well then they can't. There's You are literally pounding yourself in the face. Are you okay? And this is a different situation. You're not doing those things. Make him back up. Sanders, He's please. not. No, these guys aren't. I can't. Just back up a little bit. Back up. That's back not, up. That's not helping. I can't move. All right, I just want. You're on the verge of getting arrested. Back the f All right, arrest me.
The situation reached a tipping point when Hannah splashed a liquid at the officers, prompting her arrest for battery. She resisted arrest, leading to a struggle where officers had to forcibly restrain her. Throughout the process, Hannah continued to verbally abuse the officers and medics, showing no signs of calming down. Come on, you're under arrest. Come on. You're under arrest. Oh my Here. Get a double cup. Oh. I got it, I got it, I got it. Sanders, why, why, why? I told you what was going to happen. For what? For battery. For what? Who did I batter? Don't grab my hand like that, okay? Who did I batter? Don't grab my hand. Oh my god. Chris, you don't have a cage? What? No, I don't have a cage. A cage? Chelsea, you don't either? Nope. Oh my god, you have to put a cage on me. Do you realize what Sanders went through with me? Do you have so any idea? Is there a Chris like you in the cover of Super who has... Get your shirt in the back as well. We good? Yeah. Okay. We don't follow your rules. You should use the bathroom. Here I go. That's the one If you want to use the bathroom and you want to throw the yeah. paper, just let me know. Okay? Okay, thank you. You want a blanket? Hannah, do you want a blanket? This is it? Yeah, that's it. We have a female standby. Okay. Oh, yeah, please. Ultimately, Hannah was charged with aggravated battery on a peace officer. The video documenting the incident highlights the challenges law enforcement officers face in managing uncooperative individuals while trying to maintain safety and order. Despite numerous attempts to de-escalate the situation, Hannah's persistent aggression and non-compliance resulted in her arrest and subsequent charges. <laughs> Situations 3 a police officer noticed a car swerving, indicating the driver may have been unconscious. The police officer approached the car and ordered the female driver to get out. Despite repeated requests, the woman refused and behaved abusively, making the situation increasingly tense. Alright. Ma'am, roll down the window. Roll down the window. Ma'am, roll down the window. Ma'am, step out of the vehicle. Ma'am, you can give me the middle finger all you want. I need you to step out of the vehicle, please. Can you hop out of the car for me? The only problem is this window might be reinforced. It should. Those back ones might not be. Yeah. Can you do me a favor and open the door, please? Hi. Yes. Ma'am, you're going to need to get out of the vehicle. Can you open the door for us, please? Can you open the door? Do you have to comply in some way? Are you threatening me? The woman remained in the car using obscene language and insulting the police officer. When efforts to get her out of the car failed, the officer warned her not to drive away. The woman tried to drive away, forcing police to remove her from the car. During the ensuing struggle, she bit an officer's leg and continued to resist arrest. Open the door. Get, me. get on the ground. Get on the ground. 
We gotta check her though. I hate you, pig. You pig. All you want. After being arrested, the woman continued to berate the officers, calling them names and making threats. She also tried to remove the handcuffs, making the situation even more complicated. The police had to handcuff her and transfer her to the police station for processing. All right, we're gonna bring you inside. No, you're not. How did you get these off? Because. Who the f do you think you are? Right, come on. How did you no, get the handcuffs off? Because I can do that. I. Okay. I. We need to get no, you inside. No. Yes. No. Woo -hoo. Yes. No. Show me some respect. No way. Show me some respect. Listen. I'll listen to you if you show me okay. some respect. I had two incidents with the cops this year. Get okay. the f away from me. Ma'am. I will kill you. Get away from me. Listen. You don't know what happened. Me okay. already. Listen. Get okay. away from Step me. Out of the car, please. I hate you. Okay. okay. Step out of the car. I took him off. That's pretty impressive. Can All you right. come on out? Come on out. Come on. We're not going to hurt you. Ready? Scooper. You're One, okay. two, three. Come on. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to you people? I hate you. What did I do to you? Really? Please tell me what did I do to you? Sorry. What did I do? How did she tell me what I did? Mom, tell me what the f I did to you. You did it again. Hey. Do you know what just happened to me? Find At that my stadium last Find September? Do you know what We're happened to me? Yours? Yes. Do you know what happened to me? I'm serious. I don't. I'm not kidding. I don't. During interrogation, the woman confirmed that she did not drink much alcohol, contrary to her previous behavior. She admitted to having a few drinks at the bar, but denied using drugs. Despite her claims of sobriety, she was clearly under the influence of alcohol, as evidenced by her erratic behavior and aggressive reactions. Are you afraid of me? I'm not afraid of you at all. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you, but you bit me My twice. elbows hurt! Yeah! And you bit me twice. Because I'm being arrested for no- Cooperate. Where did you, you put the other handcuffs? All of this. What? The other handcuffs. What handcuffs? The, the ones, ones that were on you. They're in your car. How did you get out of them? That's what I'm most impressed Because about. I can't slip my hands out. It just hurts. Get it the off of me. Officers tried to calm her and ensure her safety, but she remained uncooperative and hostile. She blamed the police for her situation, insisting she did nothing wrong despite clear evidence of her driving erratically and assaulting police. Wider for you, okay? It hurts me! No! Lean no, over. it's not okay! Take them off! Just take one off. Please, God! <laughs> what the f did I actually do? I stopped you because of how you were driving. No, and then you wouldn't, you wouldn't cooperate, and I asked you to step out of the vehicle. And you refuse to step out please of the Please take it off my arm. You can put it on the desk, please. Please. Which arm? My right arm. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to cover the chair. Okay. All right. She, I don't want her to be in this. If she's in this much pain. Yeah, I don't want her in pain. I don't want her elbow. She tried to get out of them and to cover the baby. I'm a black All right. Listen. Listen. I'm trying to help you. Listen, I'm 
trying to help you. <laughs> then why did you hurt me in the first? Ultimately, the woman faced multiple charges, including DUI, obstruction of justice, resisting arrest, aggravated assault of a peace officer, illegal possession of a weapon, and making false statements. Threatening. The case highlights the challenges law enforcement faces when dealing with uncooperative individuals under the influence and the escalation that can result from such interactions. What did I do wrong? I, I do what the f did I do wrong? Okay, is that better for you? Do you yes. like saying? Yes. Okay. okay. Oh my god. I told you. Because uh, when you I, when you refuse to get out and then you started giving you the middle finger and then you kept revving the engine. Situations four. In one incident at a convenience store, the store owner provided CCTV footage showing a woman arriving in a white car and behaving suspiciously. The video shows her asking for items in the store while hiding the beer, then trying to distract the cashier before stealing the beer and fleeing. I have no cameras or anything. I was like, she okay, came in so a, with a car? Yeah, she came in in a car. I, I'm horrible at like knowing making models and descriptions of cars, but so like all I knew was it was a white car with like black trim on it. And so, so I noticed that she pulled into the back, and I was like, "That's already kind of fishy." So when she come in, no, nope. come I on, heard man, one of them. come on, bro. This is the one you get all the time. You know which one I get, man. Which one is it? The orange, the whole orange tin. And I heard the cooler doors open, but I hear that all night, so I didn't think anything of it. And then she asked me if we had. She was looking up and down the aisles. And I asked her if I could help find anything. She asked me if we had graham crack or marshmallows, which is on this first aisle. So whenever I first came to this, or was coming to this aisle, I was coming around and I was going to help her, she changed, She realized I was going to that first aisle, and I guess she had the beer hidden somewhere on that first aisle. She's trying to distract the girl. She puts a watch after this. It's going to come onto this. She leaves it over here. She puts it down right by the beer in the back, and she's trying to, she's going to distract the... Here she's gonna. She comes up. She tries to distract the uh, cashier. Mm -hmm. You'll see it. She's asking her some questions, but then she grabs a beer and she tries to run off with it on the other side. Problem three twenty nineteen. The registered owner Raymond. But the girl saw it, and she runs right outside right after. On October 30th, 2022, police located and arrested the suspect identified by her name as Rebecca. During her arrest, she became uncooperative and resisted police efforts to handcuff her, leading to a struggle that was captured on police cameras. Rebecca repeatedly questioned why she was arrested and denied any wrongdoing, claiming she had never been to that area. Right oh, okay. Why am I just running from something? Just put your hands behind your back. Why? Just put your hands behind your back. What are you guys doing? Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop. poopy. Stop. Stop, stop. Poopy. Help me here. What are you guys hey, stop. doing? Stop, stop. Stop, please. Just stop. Hey, hey. Stop. Poopy, help poopy, me. Poopy, just, just get back. Get back over Dude, there. I'm not playing. Why are you guys doing Who is this guy? Hey, why? Rebecca, please, please you're gonna get, you're gonna, you stop? you're gonna get extra you're charges. Me. You're gonna get extra charges. Okay, I'm sorry, but okay. you're hurting me. All right, relax. Just we gotta place cuffs on you. Take my bag, Booby. No, I, I, please, I please, Booby, take my bag. You hold guys it, are it, hurting me. You gotta hold her. Stop! No. What the? F you're wanted for something. No, I'm not. Yeah. Don't, don't resist. Why? Rebecca, just, stop. Please, just stop. Becky, stop. Okay, please, stop. Okay. Dude, I'm not playing. Wait, just call me. Just what call the f***? No. Okay, just calm down. Despite the police informing her of the theft charge, she continued to resist and begged to be released, claiming her innocence. She eventually admitted to drinking beer, but claimed she was forced to do so by someone who gave her a place to stay. During her arrest, Rebecca expressed fear of going to jail and pleaded for leniency, saying she was on probation and had nowhere to go. Please, wanted. why? For what? You stopped on 7-Eleven. No, I did not. Yes, you did. When? I haven't even been out here. I promise I haven't even been out here. I haven't even been out here. No. Can you please listen to this one? Please. Yeah, in a second. Please now. Oh my god, no. Ow, 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 ow. Please, ow, please. 
This is what I love in my loved one, please. My hand is numb. Can you please Hold loosen on. this one? Come on. Here, you have a seat. Please. Have a seat. Please have loosen seat. this have one. Yeah, we will. Relax. Please, please, please. Have a seat. Have a seat. Oh, God. Why? I didn't do anything. Please loosen this. Please. Hold on, hold on. Why am I being... Took the beer? I went out the store and the lady said, stop. So I dropped it and I ran. You went past the register, went outside. I went out the door. So and that's, I that's, the a, that's a theft. I got to the side and I, she said, stop. And I dropped the beer and I ran. But that's a theft. I did. I don't want to go to jail. Please, I'm sorry, guys. We, got, we got no choice. You got Come two on. or more convictions. Come on, can't I just go to court? But now, now we got to we gotta charge I, over resistance. Can't go to court? No, we, we have to. Just go to court, please. Listen to me. If, if you had cooperated, maybe, but you you fought us. You resisted us. I didn't know us. what was going on. We told you. You wanted for something. Yeah, for something what, though? I haven't done nothing. Yeah, that's why if you had cooperated, done let nothing, us place though. you in cuffs and let us explain it I to you. I know. I'm scared. You're, you're, it's not a justifiable reason. Don't be scared. You're I'm so hands. scared. This jail is horrible, bro. Horrible. Uh, do you have any drugs here? No, sir, I don't. Is there, is there any needles in here? No, I don't do You promise? I promise. Because if there is, then you gotta tell me. I swear there's not. I promise there's not. Hey, Molly, sh shine the light in here. I, oh, I promise I there's no drugs in there. At you guys all. gotta make sure, okay? No, there's no drugs at all. I promise there's not. Hey, Molly, sh shine the light in here. Cause, uh, I promise there's no drugs in there. You guys just gotta make sure, okay? No, there's no drugs at all. I don't know what that clear thing is right there. You don't know what? That clear, I don't know what that is. That ain't mine. And it's not mine. I was in the back seat with the girl. I promise you guys. I feel like Police found a cracked pipe and Brillo residue in her possession, although she denied ownership. Rebecca's constant protests and pleading did not change the outcome. She was arrested and charged with theft, resisting arrest and probation violation. Rebecca, you're gonna be fine. This will end too, okay? But How am I gonna go to jail? Yes. Please, no. You have Why? to, Rebecca. Why do I have to go to jail? Why? For, for Please stealing. don't take me to jail. I'm begging you. I'm so begging you. I'll, I'll, I'll work. I don't give a fuck what I have to do not to go to jail. I promise you. Why are you, why? Why are you so scared of going to jail? I don't like that jail's horrible. Horrible. But you, you can get clean in there. I, I don't need to get clean. I'm on probation, hon. I can't, I have not done nothing. God, please don't do this to me. Please, I beg you. I am so begging you. Please don't, don't, don't do this to me. I will, I will get whatever you guys want, whatever. The case highlights the complications law enforcement faces when dealing with uncooperative suspects and the suspects' efforts to avoid jail at all costs. Despite Rebecca's statements and pleas, her evidence and resistance during the arrest led to additional charges, demonstrating the potential consequences of resisting enforcement actions law. Oh my god, please. Come on. Now you can take this Work with you. Me. Work with me, I please. Can't, I can't. Why Rebecca? can't you? Because, because, I mean... Why? Because why? Why can't you work with me? I will work for you. Do you want me to turn your phone off? I don't care. You don't care? Please. I'll turn it off for I'll, you. I will do whatever it takes. I promise you. How do you turn this one off? Okay. I promise you guys. I will do whatever it takes. What's the... You want to tell me your pin so I can turn it off? Uh, 0903. Please. Now, what, what is this stuff? Tell me what this is. That's a crack pipe. Okay, but what is what is what is this? Brillo. What? Brillo. What is that? The spring that. Brillo pad. Huh? Brillo pad. It's used That's for the like crack goes on. Shit like yeah, that. exactly. So there is no cocaine in here? Uh, I'm sure there are, but oh, the residue. The residue is not mine. That's not mine. I smoked 305 100 full flavors right there, not 305 uh, blues. Why did you tell that guy here? Take my bag. Conclude. Violating the law is a dangerous act for society and should be condemned and strictly handled. Each person needs to be aware of the harmful effects of violating the law and raise awareness of law observance to build a civilized, safe, and developed society.